Hello, so here we are and uh, I have my van and uh, it is getting a bit dark but I'm about to set off for uh, my uh, first uh, trip for the weekend. So the van is packed up, I've got Lexi's bed on the floor there, I've got all sorts of shenanigans going on in the front passenger seat and uh, I'm going to set off. So uh, I will share some of my uh, adventures as I go. So here I am at uh, the uh, Grouse and Claret in Rosley, having uh, set the camper up and uh, now I'm ready for my lovely uh, G&T for the night before I settle back into the camper van. So we'll see how tonight goes. Hello, so here I am uh, in my camper van and I don't know if you can see on the floor but there's Lexi down there uh, in the purple and at the back there you can see my uh, sleeping bag. My seats have been folded back now because it's late morning uh, but uh, I've had my first uh, overnight uh, in Cassandra, my camper and uh, what an experience it's been. It's uh, February here so really quite cold and I'm on a site with hookup. Um, that was uh, not without uh, some tribulations so I hadn't plugged it in properly so that didn't work uh, at first and uh, then this morning well overnight I should say um, I shared uh, the bed with at the side of me with Lexi and me sort of snuggled in a corner in my warm sleeping bag but throughout the night she was kicking me I think she was wanting the space to herself so that's an interesting uh, dilemma that we'll have to sort and then this morning I uh, made uh, some wonderful porridge on my stove um, but I was using one of these uh, saucepans that has a, a clamp type of handle and forgot that and uh, whilst I was trying to fiddle around with the gas, I then managed to throw the saucepan full of oats and milk all over the van. So uh, it took me uh, the best part of an hour to sort of clear it all up from every uh, crevice. Uh, no doubt there'll be uh, some bits that I've missed and I have to thoroughly clean the van when I get back. So that's all exciting stuff. And I don't know if you can see behind, um, but there's some wonderful um, countryside here. I'm in Derbyshire and now I'm going to go on a recce and I will share uh, some of that uh, with with, uh, with you as I go and I'm going to take Lexi with me and we're going to go for a bit of a wander and um, this is a wonderful site actually it's right by the river and there are many uh, <clears throat> rather um, uh, fancy looking uh, motorhomes here. I'm the only camper so that's an interesting one. No doubt they'll give me some, some tips. Uh, so anyway I'll catch you soon. So here I am at Cordwell's Mill and this is the River Wye and the rivers Wye and Derwent run through this part of Derbyshire and uh, this is a flour mill and uh, still uh, producing some flour actually um, but the, stu the, the spaces are also used now for many different types of artists uh, and it's really interesting to walk around and check out the different artworks that's going on and there's a wonderful cafe. Good morning, so I've just woken up here on the campsite and actually I've gone and had a quick shower and lovely Lexi here is uh, just looking because just taking her for a little stretch of her legs and here we are and I'm about to pack the uh, bed away so that I can have a cup of tea and dry my hair because it's all wet. It's a bit chilly here this morning so um, I'm going to get myself sorted, get me um, blind sorted and uh, I'll catch you in a little bit. Uh, this is the second day of my inaugural trip. This is a, obviously the back of the van. I've just shut that because I was just putting some things into the back of it. So it's a really lovely um, site actually and this is in Derbyshire. I've got my pop-up up so it gives me a bit more headspace and obviously my uh, solar panels on the top of that, that uh, Thing there. So this is, I'll just twiddle around to show you the site. So it's a really nice uh, campsite actually. It's got a hook up and it's associated with a pub and um, I'll just uh, walk around a bit to show you. So uh, really lovely trees and everything in the surroundings and we're going over here to the river. Lots and lots of dogs and uh, obviously lots of vehicles as you can see. So I think there's sort of 21 pitches on this site, so it gets really busy at the weekends. And that's why I really wanted to come for this first trip, just to sort of check things out. So I'm just walking over so that I can show you the river. And 
yeah, steep learning curve because I hadn't appreciated that the handles on the sets of cooking pans, ceramic cooking pans, aren't actually um, handles, they're grips. So if you don't grip them tightly, then everything goes everywhere. So I had porridge and uh, porridge oats and milk all over the van. So it took me a while to clear it, but that was just, you know, that was yesterday. Today I made some wonderful porridge that wasn't thrown over the van in the first instance. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it's just getting used to how things work and the small space and you know how to make the most of the space that you've got and so on so uh, i'm really glad i didn't go out when i got the vehicle and buy lots of uh, things for it space saving stuff because i think that you've got to be really practical about what will actually fit in and if you're not careful you're filling your vehicle full of things that might not be that useful so i'm just walking down the main bit I'll just do a little by diversion actually back to my uh, van so that you can kind of see what's going on and uh, you can just uh, see the variety of things that are happening so i'm just going around this part so you can just sort of see stuff so as part of my little trip to derbyshire i'm now in uh, a place called baslow and this is a really pretty little place actually so i thought i'd just uh, share with you some of the quirky cottages and uh, places here. Um, it's Sunday, so it's kind of a bit of a sleepy late morning. So this is called the Chicken Shed, really interesting. And next door is Charlie's. And it's just really lovely to see uh, the sort of spring in the spring light, some of the, you know, the, the planting coming back to life and lots of shoots on the trees. And it's quite a nice morning. It's a little bit chilly, but it's still quite nice and bright, as I think you can probably see. And really quirky shops and things. And as it's sunny, there's a nice church. So yeah, so this is, this is Maslow and I'm just stopping on the way through, gonna meander my way back. Uh, to Saddleworth today and uh, thought I would just share some of these uh, little snippets with you um, not just the campsite so more little snippets of this Derbyshire countryside I, uh, I've just passed Chatsworth unfortunately there wasn't anywhere I could stop there and I was just sort of passing through so I've come to this little place and it's just really nice so the sun is shining really beautifully across the water um, so you can just see the, see the river here, it's shining quite brightly so you might just get quite a lot of glint but the trees are coming into leaf and this one's got covered in catkin, that's really nice to see and the snowdrops on the banks, you probably can't see those, um, but really nice to see this in the water. Nice Sunday morning strolls, that's really nice. I just come down, just saw something quite interesting. So I was a little bit taken aback as I was walking down here because I thought, my goodness, there's this huge, huge dog. Um, and it is a huge, huge dog, but it's stone. But from a distance, it looked like it was real, which was quite something. There's some lovely snowdrops there as well. <laughs> it's peeking into the garden there. So just uh, nice to spend some time just looking around, looking at the lovely the different sort of vernacular really of these, some of these properties in Derbyshire, uh, quite different to where I am in Saddleworth, even though there are lots of similarities too. So um, yeah, just nice to, nice to see. And, it's quite, um, if you can see the sky, it's quite a sort of mixed day weather-wise. And there was some rain overnight. There's some lovely beautiful shadows. And you can see, as I'm looking down that little road there, you can see how the spring uh, planting is, 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 you know, is starting to wake up now. You can really see some of the green, some of the shoots, some of the uh, trees uh, coming into leaf, winter bud. Still very early, but you can still see signs of, signs of that, which is really nice. Okay, so um, I'm back and I just thought I would end 
uh, this weekend video uh, by sharing with you the last jobs to do which is to clean and sort the van so I've been hoovering uh, and wiping and cleaning everything to make sure it's all uh, nicely uh, tucked away and uh, I've uh, sorted out the cool box I've just washed the floor so you probably can see it's still a little bit wet uh, hoovered everywhere put the table away and then the very last things to do is to make sure everything's turned off so my three switches there uh, for the cool box the uh, pump for the uh, sink and uh, the lights are turned off and then oh, yeah. so the gas needs turning off as well. So I thought it would just be good to get into the habit um, of doing that as a sort of a last job um, to sort of tuck uh, Cassandra away uh, once I've been on a trip because otherwise with everything that goes on on a trip it does get very messy very easily and you know inevitably you get everything grubby and you can't really clean it properly when you're away and it all gets mucked up again anyway so best just to do this sort of cleaning job right at the end and uh, just to say one of the things I'm going to do now is to write a list of all of the things to take with me to remember to take with me because this sort of um staycation or sort of staying away camping if whatever you like to call it in, in a van you do have to be very mindful of the amount of things you take and what is and isn't useful so i'm trying to keep things really simple not overloading things for now with all sorts of gadgets and we'll see how we go um, but it's been a really useful first trip as a way of understanding what it is that i need to do and not do <laughs> so uh, thanks very much for watching Please do uh, like and subscribe if you want already and I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.